Let's simplify the square root of 216. Remember to simplify, I'm looking for perfect square factors of 216. If you have trouble finding that for something as large as 216, you might want to try the process of dividing primes into that number. For example, I know 2 divides into 216 evenly, 2 divides into 1's 0, and 2 divides into 16 8 times. And you can continue this process, 2 divides into 108, 50, four times. Once you've exhausted dividing twos into each time the quotient, try a larger prime number. Continue this process until you're through dividing, which means until the quotient is a prime number, and then you will have 216 as a product of primes. If you do this, you'll find that 216 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 3. Do you have to use this method? Absolutely not. It's just if you're wondering, are there any perfect square factors in 216? Now that we've written 216 as a product of prime numbers, every square is a perfect square, and we can find the square root of it. So basically, I'm circling every pair of prime numbers. The square root of 4 is 2, and then we have the square root of 9, that is 3. And then I have left 2 times 3, so what do we have? 2 times 3 is 6, square root of 6. Notice there are no other perfect square factors of 6 other than 1 or negative 1, so I've simplified.